just wanted to encourage someone today like if you are at that crossroads and you're like you know i don't know what to do like i have this passion um i want to i want to fulfill my passion but at the same time like i need to be able to you know eat and you know have my basic needs met on the day what's going on y'all it's your girl tricaria aka empress t welcome back to another video if you have not done so already make sure you go ahead like comment share and subscribe hit that notification bell we're gonna be coming out with some new content i've been really doing a lot of reflection on you know decisions right you know we're coming up at the end of 2021 about to enter in 2022 and i'm like wow you know just relocated about a year ago from washington dc to houston texas and you know as i you know grow my channel giving you all tips on how to travel i've really been starting to think about you know what is my foundation like what foundation have i built and you know you can get into this game of comparing yourself or feeling like you should be further or feeling like you should have took a different path. And so I just kind of wanted to highlight some of the pros and cons that I've experienced um, choosing, you know, travel or having life experiences versus settling down specifically in one place and building up a foundation there. So, token number one you get to have your eyes open like the world is so vast the world is so beautiful yes we say like yeah the world is small but there is so much that is yet has yet to be discovered and so much that you know we are not accustomed to so that's definitely one of the pros and one of the perks of traveling and you know going out and living life in the aspect of getting different experiences from different places now on the flip side of that although yeah my eyes have been open i'm as i get older now i'm like okay like what foundation have i built yes i've been able to do so many things great things around the world but i'm like okay what's the lasting foundation like what is the legacy what am i creating for the next generation you know what is going to be sustainable and experiences while experiences are beautiful is what am i leaving what am i leading what am i leaving and what am i leading that's a good one what are you leaving and what are you leading what are you leaving behind for the next generation to take up and then what are you leading in your life what are you leading people to in your life by your actions and so so I want you all to let me know in the comment section below, where are you at in your journey? A lot of us may be at a crossroad. We're trying to figure different things out. You know, we're at the end of, you know, the year, at the cusp of the beginning of the uh, year, according to, you know, the Gregorian calendar. Um, we ain't, That's a topic for another day. But let me know where are you at in your life, in your journey right now? what is it that you desire what is it that you have been desiring that you have been praying for that you have been fasting for let me know in the comment section so here recently a lot of people have been reaching out to me about you know my travels and you know how i've been able to do it what places have i been what did i find difficult about it do i see myself essentially relocating out of the country and so um, I really was inspired to do this video because you know at the end of the day you have to live your life for you and do what's best for you in accordance to your highest purpose and your highest good and what the most high has called you to do and so with that being said you know 
when I was going to college, like, it really was about me experiencing all that I could experience. Um, you know, my mom always says, a wise man learns from, no, a smart man learns from his mistakes, but a wise man learns from the mistakes of others. And when I say experiencing different things, like, still using exercise and wisdom to know, like, okay, well, they did that and it kind of went left, so let's not go down that path. Or, you know, um, you know, I saw I saw them try to do this and you know, it could have been a little bit easier if they took a different road. So not in that regard, but more so in the aspect of just really like discovering who I am. You know, a lot of people don't know who they are. And if anything that we have learned within this past year and a half is that people are not comfortable with themselves, you know, they can't tell you who they are. And so that really made a lot of people have a lot of inner reflection and decide like, what life am I living? Am I just going to a nine to five job just because it has a steady paycheck and I know I'm going to get paid, but how many times you get paid two times out of the month is it's uh 20 so that's 24 times or you know some months you get paid like three uh three times so you might get paid like 26 times a year right and so like i really had to sit and think like okay what is my purpose what am i here for what am I leave, what is my legacy going to be? And so in that, I was just like, you know, I know that I have been given a task to speak to people, to encourage people, to uplift, to inspire. And so I was just like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to live my dream. So for the past, you know, year, I have been freelancing. I have been, you know, building my business and honestly i wouldn't change it for anything like it has been such a liberating experience like not having to clock in to a person's job now i love what i do um you know i was in education i was a teacher i love teaching i love children but it's the systems the systems that you know the the work system like living in dc i was living in dc and you know seeing people take the metro literally like people were looking like zombies like just going day to day we working we working we going day to day and it's just like nah this ain't it it gotta be a better way and i have some friends who you know really were pushing this and promoting this like long before the pandemic you know one of my good friends he was you know pushing this and just saying like y'all we got to get out of this system we got to get out of these systems and you know people be like all right i'm about to get out of babylon and um i was talking to a friend recently and you know babylon is not necessarily a place babylon is is a state of being a, a it's a it's a state of being so it's not specifically okay babylon just america you know it's it's the system, the state, the state of being, the system, the systematic living. And so that's what they mean when they say get out of Babylon, y'all. We got to get out. And, <laughs> you know, I feel as though when people start to really hone in on their true essence, investing in themselves, planting those seeds, that's when you really begin to flourish and shine like no other. Y'all, I'm telling you, it's time, it's high time, it's been time. And the only way that we're going to elevate to the level that we um, have the full capacity to live in in this life is when we truly become liberated and we know who we are to the core of our being. On the flip side of that, like some pros of, you know, Choosing a specific location where you kind of like have nestled in. Like, say, for instance, I was in D.C. for eight years. If I had stayed in D.C., like, 
I could by now, you know, be on the way to at least, you know, owning my own property or, you know, having some type of establishment or, you know, building up there, you know, really honing in, you know, settling down, finding a mate, all of these things could be happening. But I decided to choose a different route or a different route. And, you know, that ownership piece is something that's very important to me as well. You know, owning land, you know, owning your own business, that ownership piece is so, so vital. And sometimes I feel like, well, maybe if I, you know, didn't go to Africa every year since 2014, I would have a house or, you know, I would be more established in my business or, you know, I would have certain things. But it's just like the saying goes, like, the grass is not always greener on the other side. Like, it really, do, it, you really have to determine what is meant for you. And that's the key. When I just when I started really in going within and fasting and really praying about, you know, seeking clarity on what my life journey would be and what my life would look like, I'm telling you, like the freedom. It's like I say this all the time. My 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 peace is priceless and i'm protecting it at all costs i'm gonna say that one more time for the people in the back for the people that didn't catch it your freedom is priceless and you need to protect it at all costs your peace is priceless and you need to protect it at all costs like granted to a certain extent um we can still feel like we're living in the matrix however it's your mind state, your mind frame, your your frame of of your being, your thought process, um, your spirit, what you're doing for yourself spiritually. There's a scripture that says only what you do for your spirit will last. Only what you do for your spirit is everlasting. And that was so deep to me because it's like we are literally spiritual beings having a physical experience so i i was like what am i doing in order for my spirit to ascend like people waiting on heaven but it's it's a state like just like babylon is a state of being you know heaven hell it's a state of being so we have to really start going within and seeking that clarity and seeking that that wisdom and that knowledge and that understanding on what we should be doing and how we should be maneuvering in this life so i just want to encourage somebody today like do the necessary work in order to have your liberation have your freedom because at the end of the day that might look different for everybody you know for some people it may be traveling the world and having these different experiences and for some people it may mean having a partner and starting a family and building a foundation it looks different for everyone but just know that when you're at certain crossroads um it really takes that that you're gonna have to isolate and really hone in and seek that inner voice so you can really be true to self and true to the most high and true to your highest calling and your purpose in this life um it can be discouraging sometimes when you know we're going through that hustle and bustle and we're working and we're trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents and you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day you will be you will be provided for when you start really planting those seeds and putting the effort in towards your goals and you know your your ambitions and your dreams i'm telling you y'all it's 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 supernatural the things that will begin to happen you have to put the work in faith without works is what dead faith without works is dead so you have to put the work in but i'm here as a testament that you can literally live the life that you desire and really flourish in 
anything that you put your mind to that's that's for that's for good now you know what i'm saying because you know let's let's be let's be real at the end of the day we're we're about promoting at on this channel we're about promoting positivity you know we're about promoting um self-care self-love we're about promoting um you know looking into your your reflection and really doing the work you know we have fun we do all of that but for real y'all we have a task and that task is so important and when we begin to break free like break every chain <laughs> a lot of references today but yeah when we begin to break free oh, that's when we begin to soar that's when we begin to fly so i'm here to encourage you today do not give up on your dreams do not give in when the going gets rough the tough get going keep pushing keep thriving you you're you're doing the work and for those of you who have, who have been doing the work, you say, well, you know, Empress, I've been doing the work. I've been doing this and I'm not seeing the results that I feel like I should be seeing. Still keep going, even if it's for the, those few, even if it's for those few, you're encouraging somebody by your actions. It's people who are looking at you and waiting on you to bloom and blossom. And as I talk to you all, I'm speaking to myself. It's people waiting on you to bloom and blossom and be the best version of yourself. So let's not let's not waste any more time. Be intentional with your time. Be intentional with your space. Be intentional with your thoughts. Be intentional with your habits. Those daily actionable steps, those daily actionable habits that you are doing and putting forth now are, are what going to lead you to the place that you want to go. So... I appreciate you all, you all for tuning in with me. You know, we're going to be doing more of these kind of like chat type vibes because there's so many things that um, I've just kind of been holding in for so long. I mean, I'll talk to my close friends and things about it, but um, I really want to hear from you all. Like, where are you in your life right now? Like, are you at a place where you are you know really focused on having more experience or are you in a place where you know you really are focusing on settling down and building a foundation in a specific place like i know that for me i was at a place where you know i want to have all these different experiences and i've been doing that and so now it's time to share that you know now it's time to you know really hone in and start building leaving legacy so so I appreciate you all. Thank you. Make sure you go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thank you all for everyone who has been rocking with me. I appreciate you all. Until next time, this your girl Tricuria signing off. Peace.